Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to set a priority in the test ng test cases. So test ng allows you to set priorities for test cases. Why? Because it controls the order in which they are executed. So by default, test ng uses the alphabetical order of the method name for the test execution. Let's create a few test cases and we'll understand how it's working. I can create public uh, void. I can say login test. So simply I'll add a message over here. Executing login test. So the same way I'll create another test cases, public void register test. So here also I'll add a message. Executing register test. Okay, so now we need to add a the rate of test annotation. Here also we need to add a the rate of test annotation. You can import the packages as well. This is coming from the test ng annotation. So now I have added a the rate of test annotation as well. So if you run this, test ng will execute these test cases as per the alphabetical order. So test ng will execute this as per the alphabetical order means actually login the method will going to consider so login comes first registration comes second okay so here i'll i'll try to execute these cases so you comes to know that so now if i run this code you know what happened the executing login test login test executed first registration test executed second so now in my workflow registration should execute first right i don't want to execute the login first i want to execute the registration test first because once the registration is done then only user can able to log into the test cases so what we have to do i can set a priority over here right i can set a priority to the each test cases which test case i want to execute first so how you have to add a priority simply you can say priority equal to one same way here also you can add priority equal to two so now as per the lower you know priority you are going to execute first so now let me run this these cases how this is going to execute See now what happened, it is executor, registration executor first, then login executor test, you know, second. Why? Because we have set the priority as per our research, right? So keep in mind that if you don't explicitly set the priorities, test engine will use the default alphabetical order of the method name for the test execution. So now explicitly setting a priorities can be useful when you need to control control the order of execution, right? It's especially in scenarios where the orders matter. So now if you, if you may face the another question like what is the default priority of the test cases in test engine? So default priority is, a, you know, if you are not setting any priority, then it will be considered as a zero, priority equal to zero. So the default priority will be zero only. Now suppose if I'm not add any priority over here, okay? So now what happened, it will be considered as a zero only. It will be considered, okay. So now it will be considered as zero. So now what happened when you are running the test cases, this will going to execute first, this will going to execute second. So now let me run this, I'll show you that. So if you are not executed, you are not set any, you know, priority. See now, login executed first. Registration executed second. Why? Because by default priority is a zero in the test engine. So now you have to understand this concept. So then now the next question would come like, you know, is it possible to set a negative number to the priority? Yes, it is possible. So it will accept the negative number as well. If you, so now if suppose if I add over here, um, priority equal to, priority equal to i'll add a minus uh, one right minus one it will be considered first right then 
Like this will consider per second. So now let me run this. I'll show you that. There is no error. If you add a negative, you know, priority number, it's not going to throw any error. It will going to accept. Now, as per that low priority, as per that low priority, this will go into execute. Now, I'll show you that. See, now what happened? See, login executed first. Registration executed second. So, now what I'll do, I'll make it as this one is a plus one. This one is a minus one. So, what happened now? The registration going to execute first because here we have set a negative number. So, negative number comes first, then only positive number, right? So, now... Let me run this. So now, see, registration executed first. Login executed second. Why? Because we have a, as per that, uh, you know, priority order, right? This is a low priority. So it will go into execute first. This is executed second. Right? I hope this is clear. So now the next question maybe would come, uh, we can, you know, if you add a same priority to the test cases, what will happen? How the test engine will execute? In this case, suppose I'll add this one. Right, so now I'll remove this. Uh, priority equal to, I'll, I'll say 2. This is also, I'll make it as a 2. Okay, so both are 2. So if you are added a same, uh, you know, priority. So initially when we are running with the 0 priority, right, we are not at, added any priority over there, it will consider that by default priority is zero. So if you are added the same priority, what will happen? It will go into check in the alphabetical order only. So if you are added the same priority, I will show you that, I will execute that. So it is going to execute as per the alphabetical order. See now if you added the same priority, what happens? It is going to consider the alphabetical order only. Right? Usually, when you are adding a negative number, that is case with the lower priority get executed first. If it is added, you know, if you are giving a same priority, then it will go into checking the alphabetical order only. So, I hope this is the clear. So, this is the way how to set the priority.